This is a patient who had abdominal pain, got a CAT scan with intravenous contrast. And there are a couple of abnormalities we can see here. Firstly, in the spleen, there are multiple linear to wedge-shaped regions of hypoenhancement um, seen almost throughout the spleen, though uh, certainly predominantly at the um, upper portion of the spleen. So this is a great look for splenic infarcts. And then when you look at the kidneys as well, we can see similar findings in both kidneys. Uh, areas of uh, linear to wedge-shaped regions of hypotenuation sort of extending from the central portion of the kidney all the way out to the periphery. And so these are great looks for infarcts within the kidney. If you look at uh, this lesion over here, for example, this infarct, we can see a rim of um, preserved perfusion along the renal capsule, and that's known as the capsular rim sign that we can see with renal infarcts. And so uh, both splenic and renal infarcts uh, need to look for a central source to account for this. The patient did get an echocardiogram and there were findings of endocarditis and so this person had endocarditis with um, septic emboli that were resulting in numerous renal and splenic infarcts accounting for the abdominal pain.